everybody, welcome back to Falcon Police RimWorld Alpha 4 Storyteller Gonna Troll Colony. Um, what are we looking at today? Well, let's actually start off by getting the game going for one, and number two, let's actually get some people um, introduced. Um, last episode we had, I think, three people to rename, which is pretty good. As you can imagine, this is probably, what, episode four? And already we're up to, what, four? Eight, eleven. Assuming I know how to count properly, still eleven. Uh, I'm sorry, I suffer from early onset Alzheimer's, so you know, one, two, seven, eight, twenty-four. Uh, I forget how to count. But either way, we have a few people to rename. And that was uh, Moldad. Moldad's finally back. And Moldad's been one of the one of my oldest viewers that have been like around for the Rimworld series quite a bit. So Moldad, welcome back to Rimworld, my friends. So we have Moldad. We also have Anderson Pena, who's also been around for quite a while, always commenting, really good supporter. Thank you, Anderson Pena, for all your support for one, along with Moldad. And number two, welcome aboard, my friend. And we also have Two-Faced, which I'm not too familiar with, but, um... Honestly, don't remember too much of a Two-Faced in the comments or anything like that, so... Two-Faced, my friend, you are gonna be kind of on deck. You, along with, um, Phoenix... ...and Tiny, and Pyro... If you haven't by now, I remember, I record these ahead of time, so if you already have commented in the past and I'm still asking you, just remember that I record ahead of time, so I haven't really seen your comments yet, but if any of you guys that I mentioned just now haven't let me know in the comments that you're still watching, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you don't watch anymore and I could use those spots for some of the other viewers that are still around and watching, so... Remember guys, just give me a heads up. It, you don't have to comment every single video, you don't have to let me leave me a like or anything like that. If you want to do that, go ahead. It's really good for me. I appreciate it, for one. But number two, you don't have to comment every single video. Just let me know if Falcon is still around, and I'll ignore you. Or, I, I mean, I won't ignore you, but I'll leave you alone in the colony, and you'll be continue to be played around with. Which sounds really sexual in nature, and it's not supposed to be that way. Um, either way, Batman's done with research. Let's turn this into a zero, obviously. And let's get to go. Alright, so all those people welcome the board. Either way. We have a little bit of an area over here to play around with. What do we want to do with that? Well, we need a colonist bed for one. Or for a lot, as a matter of fact. I think two of them can't sleep. So, is it about time we start building individual rooms? No, not yet. But soon. But soon. What do I want to do with this little area over here? Well, I'm thinking probably... How about like a little bit of a hydroponic section just about? I mean, I think it's about time we start rocking that. So, for now, we do need a few momentary beds, though. So let's go into cheap bed. Oh god, I really hate putting more beds over here. It looks so tacky, but whatever. We'll do one more at the very least. Oh god, look at this. They're over here sleeping and they wake up and they're like, you know, it's can you imagine waking up? And then you just wake up and like the moment you wake up, you see look you look straight ahead and you see like some people just having like a meal. It's kinda like, how you doing, Falcon? It's kinda like, what are you guys doing here? Oh, we're having a meal. Yeah, but <sighs> I just fucking woke up, but you're in my room. It's like, yeah, I know. The dining room is in your room. Can you chew any louder, motherfucker? You chew so loud. It's like, can you, like, you know, masticate quietly, please? How about you gulp your drink quietly? I'm sorry, I'm over here speaking from actual experience with, uh, roommates and stuff like that. So, <laughs> ignore what I'm saying. Either way, though, but, um... Yeah, so I need to really give these people room soon enough. But for now, this is like the clusterfuck of a house they live in. It feels like a Japanese penthouse or something. No no offense against Japanese, obviously. And trade ship! And they are an industrial trader. Good. More people to join us, which is uh, more people to kind of crowd our little undercompensated area more. However, I don't think we even have the proper silver to deal with them. But I guess we'll find out soon enough, right? So for now, who is our top talker here? We have Tiny the Negotiator. I think it's no... Yeah, it's obviously gonna have to be Tiny. So Tiny... You guys, uh, you guys know Tiny, uh... Is it Tiny Two Small Smalls or Tiny Smalls? He was, um, if you watch Friday, he was like Debo. And, um, if you watch, like, even in older movies, if you're old as I am, um, he fought Hulk Hogan. And I think Hulk Hogan's movie, like, back in the late 80s, early 90s. I think he was Zeus in the movies. Uh, but yeah, he's either way, he's tiny, too small, and he's just like, you know, whatever, from Friday. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm so old, man. Alrighty, oh, three people, wow. I don't think we have the money for this, unfortunately. So we have to kind of pick and match what we can do. Maybe we could sell something for money, but I wouldn't hold my breath over it. So here's what we're looking at. Oh, a Space Marine, wow. Okay. Space Marine, uh, shooting aid, melee aid. Mining 9, that's really good. Let's buy him. 
Military, oh, we have no more money left, though. We need about seven, eight hundred silver to actually buy these two guys if we wanted to. So let's find out if we want them, though. Growing seven, mining seven. Melee six, shooting zero. Good worker, I actually do want this guy. And what about this guy? Two, two, three, two, shooting six. Uh, the shooting actually kind of saved this guy a bit. However, we have no weapons. Interesting, interesting indeed. Let me buy this dude if we can. If we can get up to 800, good. If not, then oh well. So let's go ahead and sell some of the wooden planks, which it, it really hurts doing that. But there is a lot of trees around that we could always cut down for wood. So I'm not going to lose any sleep over this, unfortunately. So let's go and do... Mm, how much How much do we need? Well, let's trade this amount, right? And we need... Yeah, that should be more than enough. So as soon as they send us our silver... Where is our silver? Where are my dragons? No, no, no in reality, I, I sold, I sold shit. Where's my money? Hey. <gasps> you have got to be shitting me. They don't give you money for wooden- I just gave away wooden blanks. I don't want to talk about it. I, I just really don't. <laughs> that's- that's horseshit. That is fucking horseshit. Go to Tiny really quickly. Tiny, I'm- I'm so mad at you. This is your fault somehow. For me being a fucking idiot, you are supposed to let me know, hey Falcon, you're by the way, you're giving away wooden plank for free. This is fucking horseshit, I'm so mad right now. Let me sell some metal off, just because we can make metal back. And I really want to buy that dude, so let's trade this off. I am so fucking angry right now. That's bullshit, I just gave away fucking wood for nothing. Can we buy the other guy too? I, I think we can. He's not too bad. He's a pretty decent fighter. Six, and actually, you know what, he's not that great. Never mind. Let's just buy one of them, Ollie. Squirt! <laughs> I don't know how it feels if somebody were calling me Squirt. Like, if they were like, hey, Squirt, how you doing? I'd be like, what the fuck do you mean by that? What does that mean? It's like, no, you're just Squirt. It's like, yeah, I know what you called me. What does it mean, though? It sounds really offensive. What are you even implying right now by calling me Squirt, you dickbag? Um, either way, though, Squirt, welcome aboard. I guess I'll give you a few uh, tasks to do. Along with David the Marine. So firefighting one, obviously, at all times. David the Marine needs a weapon, too, I would imagine. So let's turn this into that. I'm um, growing. Do we need a third grower or a fourth grower? Not for now, but soon. Probably soon. How's our food? Our food's still pretty good. So we'll do, like, a mining, a one, and turn these into, like, twos. All right. Art could go fuck itself. Uh, David the Marine's actually a good miner, too, so let's make that a one. And, uh, turn that off for now. Let's make hauling a one as well. So when he's not, you know, mining, we can do some hauling with him. And we'll do like cleaning a two. Make this like a hauling like a three. And, uh, you know, if we have the chance for it, do a little bit of cleaning if you can. There you go. We need a weapons though. So I need to obviously set up the weapons workspace really quickly. And we have to do some more mining for uh, metal, obviously, because I sold quite a bit of it right now. So what we want to do is actually start mining quite a bit. Like, religiously, as a matter of fact. So we could probably do... Ah, uh, let's just do this for now and see how this leads us to. I obviously don't want to connect these two together because then... My... Quasi... Battery room slash prison room is going to have like a SX... Like an escape plan for the prisoners. I don't want that. I need to actually build an, uh, an actual prison room for these dudes, which I really haven't done just yet. Uh, the other thing I should do is um, actually set up people for plant cutting. You know what, plant cutting is actually really important for now because you could actually get wood to build stuff with. So that's one of the things I've been slacking off on and I think that's a really terrible idea on my part. So let's give you like a one in plant cutting. Along with growing, crafting, and hauling, huh? Yeah, let's give you a one for now. And we'll give him, actually he's a, yeah, let's give him a one as well. So let's have a, at least three people dedicated to wood cutting. And why I want that is actually just actually cut down some trees like so. 
I'm being really cautious about this too because obviously if you set up too many oh wait what this is oh this is just for wood good it's supposed to cutting plants excellent so I could then just do this alrighty developer you are a wise individual and I kind of really like you for that so let's just do that I have a few people just dedicated to nothing but what is this oh that is not grown yet okay understandable so we'll have those wooding, uh, tr we'll have those trees actually cut down. And we're gonna, what we're gonna use, we're gonna use the wood in order to make a few of the floors and yada yada yada. Even like a little bit of an actual prison for these dudes. Cause this is actually my battery room. And as you can see right here, there's so much meadow actually kind of come by over here. And I kind of want to open this up. But not completely just yet. So, let's do a little bit of mining through all of this while we're at it. And soon enough, we'll seal it back up. You know what, this could actually even be used as a prison room in reality. If I played my cards right, it could. Hmm. Like, what if I did, like, structure? We did, um, let's say... Wood walls, right? Say we did that. And then we'll do a little bit more mining... Nope, not there. But we'll mine a bit more through right about here. That's what I'm thinking about. And then we'll set up a structure for wooden walls, like, let's say... This way and this way, we'll set up a wooden door right about here. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Looks kind of odd, but it makes sense to me at the very... What is this thing just hanging out here for? Would I need that? Well, I guess I could make stone walls, but I have no stone just yet to actually seal this up properly. Um... This feels really awkward. I guess we could just... No. Alrighty, let's do another wooden wall through here. And we'll do a little bit more mining through right about here. Either way, the wooden walls do draw power anyway, right? So it wouldn't be too bad to do that. And what we'll do is just to kind of line this up properly. We'll do wooden walls right through there. Through all of this. And I'll continue mining a bit further down if we can. Kind of make this like a really big... Molta is just sleeping on the floor. Oh shit, I need to call on his bed. My bad. Uh, okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. My Chirona. Go ahead and do a sleeping. <laughs> I'm laughing because Molta just fucking passed out on the floor. It's like, well, fuck it, man. I guess I just gotta pick a spot now. I'm sorry, Molda. There's a bed for you over here, man. I apologize. Go, go sleep. Just have a good time. I apologize. Who is this? Trade ships? Oh, god damn. <laughs> They're a food trader? Um, okay. Let's see here. Um, we're looking for Tiny, right? Where's Tiny at? Squirt's over there hanging out. Tiny? Where did Tiny go? Tiny, stop cutting wood right now, man. Go and uh, interact with these individuals over here. See what they want. Maybe some good stuff, right? Uh, let's see. People. Ooh. Space pirate. Dude, we're just building our colony so fast. We just don't have the metal. We don't have the silver to for this, though. It's the problem. Yeah, see? Like, I just, I just can't really sell with them. It's unfortunate, but I just have no money to actually buy these people, which is unfortunate. Um, how would we do this? What do they want? They want food and planks. We can actually sell planks to them, but we're kind of using all of our planks, so unfortunately we're going to have to say no to that. Why are these beds uh, marked as prisoner beds? It doesn't make any sense. Do that right there. Okay. Oh, I guess because I opened this all up for a while. Moldad, are you alright? Why are you so orange? What are you, a fucking carrot now? Moldad, go get some sleep over here, dude. Let me wake you up. Go get some sleep inside, at the very least. <laughs> I feel bad for Moldad. Okay, so... Let's really quickly mine this out like so. And I guess what we'll do is also mine this out. And then we'll just seal it up with like a little bit of uh, wood paneling once we get the chance. And that'll work out, I do believe. And let's see, floors, let's, uh, wooden floors, might as well cover this up if we can. Along with this, alrighty. And go back to structures and do, we'll do some wood paddling right about through all of this as soon as they're done mining it. Uh-huh, keep going, just keep going. Keep going. Perfect. Now, I don't need to do this, obviously. I'm really doing this just to kind of keep the consistency of the whole matter here, but obviously it's kind of a little bit of waste of wood, I understand, but obviously it's wood, so it's gonna fucking grow back either way. 
Um, you know, assuming you don't believe in uh, Al Gore's thing about us ruining nature and the ozone layer, which is actually true. We actually are ruining the ozone layers as fucking uh, Neanderthal human beings as we are, but that's alright, man. You know what? Here's what I think about the ozone layer and pollution. By the time that I die, the ozone layer might just be starting to fall apart, but by the time it does, I'll be old as fuck and I'm about to die anyway, so whatever, man. You know what? That's a problem for the future. <laughs> In reality, just think of it that way, you know, if you ever worry about, like, you know, how, if you're doing bad things and what not. I know it's a really terrible thing what I'm saying, but here's the thing. It's a problem for the future. It's not your problem anymore. <laughs> you, you tried. You failed at it, but you tried. Oh, God, I wish I had more room for this. This is really terrible. I guess we'll just do it this way. Do that. And then we'll do, should we do one more? No, I think that's more than enough. And then we'll do like a standing lamp right about somewhere in the center. Okay. Yeah, but here's my thing, you know. What if uh, the future, and if the world's going to shit and everything's going really bad, think about it this way. By the time that we are done, us as individuals are done fucking up the earth, it's going to be not our problem, probably like, you know, one of our, you know, great, great, great grandchildren or something. So, hey, whatever, you know what? We had our chance. We ruined it. And it's going to be their problem to solve now, ours, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, Moldad and Tiny are sleeping in the prison, which is not what I really wanted to happen. So here's what we're going to do. This needs to be set for prison. Yeah, confirm. You guys need to get the fuck out of there. Go sleep inside of the other room if you have to. Okay? <laughs> I thought I gave you guys sleeping spots over here, too. What are you guys doing? All right, whatever. Either way. Um, how about we call it an episode here today, guys? I feel that we've done a lot enough. We have a lot of good supplies stored up. We have a lot of wood cut up, which is really good. We'll have a lot of saw mill individual stuff to do, and we'll get some more planks, yada, yada, yada. And we have a lot of metals, so we are looking really, really good. Our food is starting to dip a little bit low, but we could always cut down these barrier plants. We're going to set up a little bit of a hydroponic section here, and we have a little bit more mining to do. So, believe me, we're looking pretty goddamn good, and we also have a lot of more people to actually rename, so that's always good. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up. The support always means a lot, so please leave a like if you did enjoy it. If you did not enjoy it, then don't leave a like. It's obviously lying to me, and I wouldn't really want you guys to, like, you know, feel inclined that you have to leave a like just because I'm asking you to. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, otherwise, understandable. Either way, guys, I'll catch you next time.